Cherie's story. Throughout the video, photos are shown of Cherie, her son Noah, her caseworker Wanjiro, parent advocate Robin, and attorney Anastasia. Back in 2017, when my son was taken away, I never thought that the experience would have happened to me. I was lucky to find legal representation that was passionate and determined to support me on getting my son back. I built relationships with three amazing, incredible women, Anastasia, Wanjero, and Robin, that I grew to respect and work with along the way. Just to be honest, I would have never made it out of the madness without their support, guidance, and passion. They helped me out of the very sad situation that I put myself in. I believe that what made my story different was my outlook on moving forward. I found a therapist to help me emotionally and mentally. Not only was I motivated, but I was determined to prove why I acted in such a manner. I even had to move out of the state to push things forward. I still made every court date, visit, and meeting with the assistance of the organization. I wasn't giving up hope and was assertive about getting my son back. There were times when I thought that everyone was out to get me, but when I listened and did what my team told me, I saw the bigger picture. I realized that letting my emotions out had a negative effect on my case. At the end, everything that my team was telling me came to light and I won the battle of a lifetime. I can't thank them enough for having my back during the year and a half that we spent together. Till this day, we still talk. I believe that we helped one another see things differently. Without my determination and motivation, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Now I have full custody of my son and he is doing well in my care. Even though I missed a lot of important first moments, I have been able to gain memories that will last for a lifetime. I also am completing my degree in allied health science to become a radiology technician to help build a stable and a successful environment for my son. Sometimes you must make sacrifices to achieve the ultimate goal. Getting Noah back home where he belonged. I want to thank the Center for Family Representation and the team from the Center for States. I would also like to thank Anastasia Rivera, Wanjiro Gathaiga, and Robin Lyde for giving me this amazing opportunity. These stories were created in a digital storytelling workshop held at the Center for Family Representation. We would like to thank the Center for Family Representation staff for their support. This product was created by the Capacity Building Center for States under contract number HHSP 2332-0150-0071-I. Funded by the Children's Bureau, Administration for Children and Families, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Logos for the Children's Bureau and the Capacity Building Center for States.